all right guys so there has been a recent update to facebook's pixel and um, i see a lot of people are having issues um, installing the new or navigating the new platform or the new interface so what i'm going to do in this video is walk you through the entire process of uh, accessing the codes and you know installing them on your own um, sites okay so i'm on the ads manager here and i'm just going to click on this toolbar and then it's going to reveal the shortcut so we're just going to access the events manager and from there we should see our pixel so if you haven't created your pixel before um, you will be shown the interface to create your own pixel but if you have created your pixel before and you just want to install um, the, your pixel codes your event codes uh, on your website then this is what you're going to see and the next thing you want to do is click on add events and if you click on this you're going to get all of these options all right so you see using the conversion um, api from a new website and then from the pixel so if you already have a pixel um you, that's you have the base code on your site already you can just click on from the pixel but if you don't have a base code yet and you, you want the base code what you want to click on is from a new website so if you click on that you're going to see these two options i'm very sure you're familiar with this already you see, see the install code manually and use a partner all right so yeah if you're using wordpress and all that you, they have they are they are partners with some of these uh, uh, management systems okay so um, basically you're going to install this uh, manually so you just click on install code manually and you're going to see the base code right here so this is the base code just click copy code and that's the base code right and you just install this um, at the head section of your website this i've shown you guys how to do that already if you don't know how to do that already just refer to the videos okay on how to install your pixel codes all right so once you've um, copied that and you have it installed on your on your site the header section the next thing you want to click on is continue and from this part you're going to choose what um you want facebook to actually track all right you have to determine this and you just have to toggle on the options that you want facebook to track i personally um want all um options to be tracked so yeah so for better um you know targeting right it's, it's good that you have all of them toggled on i think it's taking some time to um come up but that's it the next thing you want to do is click on continue and you're going to see all of these is going to ask you uh do you prefer um the manual option all right if you don't want to use that you can decide to use um the setup tool but you can do it manually right it's fine i've taught you guys how to do this manually so if you just click on install um code manually now this is the part that a lot of people are getting confused uh it usually it's, it wasn't like this i don't know why facebook have this interface this interface is meant for developers i don't know what's really going on with facebook at the moment um because yeah not everyone really understand what's going on here okay but i'm going to explain to you guys how you can actually get all of these things done yourself so facebook tracking is in three folds okay so you have standard events you have custom events you have custom conversions okay so standard events are the events that facebook already has so you have the leads you have page views you have um registrations um you have um add to cards you know all of these um you know events these are the standard events so custom events are the one that you define yourself all right so someone lands on a specific page um you cannot define it and call it say um um someone watched your webinar or someone um visited your product page you know you're defining it yourself then you have custom conversions this custom conversions you also determine them yourself but in this um um 
option you are um, doing this using the URLs of your pages. So if someone lands on your, you know, thank you page, you can decide to, you know, have um, a custom audience, right? It costs or create a custom conversion using the URL, all right? But basically, the one that a lot of you are going to be making use of are the standard events, okay? So if you scroll a little bit down, you are going to see the standard event so you can see it right here the first one that they, they um they actually gave here is the Porsche's event all right they now gave the currency and of course the value so if your currency is in yuan in usd in pounds euro naira whatever it is that your currency is you can change that but this is not what you're going to install at the body section of your website what you're going to install is this script all right it's, it has to it has to be enclosed in this script tag see the opening and the closing tag so this is what you are going to have on your site right if let me just copy that and paste this on a notepad all right so i explain it better all right so this is what you're going to have on your site all right and all you need to do here is if you are tracking purchase you can just you know change all of these values and all that if you want to track um, add to cart just change this to add um, to cart all right that's just it okay now if you want to track leads what you want to do is change this to lead all right and you want to remove all of this okay so you're tracking the leads so in this case you're tracking the lead all right so if you want to track um registrations you just say registrations all right and you know and that is what Facebook is going to track for you. Just make sure that you have this in the body section, just like we have this course and talked about. But this is how you can get your codes and um, have them installed on your own website. So I believe with this, it should be easier for you to have your codes, you know, um, installed on your own website. If you have questions, don't forget to ask. All right, bye.